Hi, I'm Atlanta Audiobook Share Rater, Karen Cummins, and I'm here today with a quick video to show you how I use Evernote during my audiobook prep to maintain my pronunciation list for the book. A lot of narrators keep their pronunciation research in their iAnnotate file. I'm going to show you in this demo two big advantages Evernote has over iAnnotate. First, all of your pronunciation research is liberated from iAnnotate. So this is great. If you're doing a series, you don't have to go back digging through your old files to find how you pronounced a word. All you have to do is query Evernote. If that feature weren't enough to convince you, perhaps this one will. You can share your Evernote with anyone on the internet. If I want to share it with my proofer or an editor or the author or even a Facebook group, I can do that. And while I'm not going to show it in this demo, there's also a way that you could share it with your assistant or your researcher. So they could be looking up your pronunciations while you're continuing to do your pre-read. So let's take a look at this on my iPad. So I'm in iAnnotate, and I'm prepping my book, and I find a name that I need to look up. I highlight it, as usual. And I could look at the dictionary here, but I'm going to take it into Evernote because that's where I manage all of my pronunciations. So I'll copy it. And without leaving I annotate, I'm going to slide Evernote out from the side. You just pull it out from the right side. iOS allows you to multitask. You see this bar at the top. I could pull down and I could pick other applications that I want to use side by side with iAnnotate. But I want to use Evernote because I have my pronunciation list here. So here's my note for this pronunciation list for this book. And you see I've already been filling some of them in, but I want to show you how I add this. So this was in chapter 12, and it's on page 146. And I can paste it in here. Now I can do a dictionary lookup here as well and go out to the web. See, there's an option here to look up. But I'm not going to look those up now because I want to show you how I use Evernote on my desktop. This is the same note from my desktop version of Evernote. I like to do pronunciation work in a batch because I like to stay focused on my text when I'm pre-reading and then spend time looking up pronunciations all at once. I find I'm much more effective that way and I'm much more aware of the story. So you can see in this list, I've already started copying links to sites and pronunciations for several of the words that I've found in this book. For Stephen Vincent Benet, I actually found an old periodical from 1922 where he actually said how to pronounce his name. And I took a picture of it on my iPad, and I'm going to copy it into this note. And you see it appears here. But I want my proofer to be able to to immediately see why I'm using this as a reference. So I can highlight this picture by right-clicking on it. I'm going to annotate this image. When the annotation comes up, you want to pick the highlighter tool that shows the A through it. So you can have a marker or you can use the highlighter. So we have that picked. And we want to be sure it's a color that we can actually read. So I would pick yellow and change Right now, we can't read this at all to see where we want to highlight. You can see at the bottom of the screen, there is a zoom. So I'm going to change the zoom so that we can see where on the screen we want to, to highlight. And it's right here that it's pronounced Benet. And so when I save that, Evernote's going to save that highlighted picture. And you see, there's my highlight. I also love Evernote because in addition to allowing me to add and highlight pictures, I can create recordings in it. Whenever I have to call a source, it's great 
to be able to record them so I can hear it in their voice of how they said it. Evernote allows you to add audio to your notes. You see, there's this microphone right here, and we're going to turn it on. You still have to punch the button to actually record. I'm going to call this town hall in Georgia, and once the phone is picked up, I'll turn on the recorder and we'll record how they say the name of the town. Thank you for calling Ristaka Town Hall. For automated traffic ticket information, including court documents. And you see Evernote created my recording, and I can play it back. So now that's my source for that pronunciation lookup. And now that we've finished with the microphone, we'll just close that off because our WAV file is saved in our note. The great thing about Evernote is it syncs among all your devices. So even though I did those pronunciation lookups on my desktop, when I come back to iAnnotate and we go back to my same pronunciation note, Here's our edited image, and here's our recording. No matter which device you're using, and right now we're looking at this from my iPad, you can share an Evernote note with anyone. To do it on the iPad, you click the three dots at the top right corner and share, and we're going to copy the link. And this time it says, do you want public or private? So we'll copy the public link. I called up my notes application so you could clearly see the link. I'm just going to paste it. Anyone who has this link can view it in their browser. I'll put it in the text so that you can click on it and see the note that we've been using for this demonstration. I hope you found this tutorial about Evernote to be helpful. I'll include a link so that you can sign up for an account and play with it yourself. I'm Karen Cummins, and I hope you're living the life of your dreams.